So hi guys and welcome today I would like to show you how you can create 360 panorama images of your projects in two ways. The first one is by using around me which is the social media about 360 images so here you can easily start by uh, making an account by logging in you can use also your facebook profile and then you just need to hit create tool and then you drag and drop your image into the browser directly and it will upload your image immediately so you can create you can follow just the percentage of uh, the uploading process and it will appear immediately and here is it we are inside our 360 bedroom and looks how sharp it can be in detail you can zoom out zoom in on the top there are a couple of different regimes of uh, the way how you can look at different projections normal fisheye architectural panini and so on also you can share your panorama with your client for example or you can also use it by vr mode full screen kind of navigation and share options how I said you can copy the link directly and send it over to your client that's around me pretty easy extremely quick and useful in the way of presenting your projects if you browse through the website you can discover nice uh, shots from different parts of the world. There is um, editors, big collections, recent community world map. Here you can follow also uh, on the world map different places where the people uh, capture different 360 panoramas and so on. Second way is by using Photoshop. When once you have opened your image, you just need to go to the window, timeline, and at the regime of the timeline, you need first to select video editing and then just by stretching the timelines, you can decide how long it will be. We need to go down underneath there is a arrow just press it and render video window appears which we need to give a name of the file we will create there is the resolution high quality high quality and that's it normally you should bear in mind that the length should be twice at the height of the image and then you need just to press render. The last step of creating your video because that's what you're gonna create and that's what you need to put in to import into YouTube. That's kind of video we have just created in Photoshop. Here how it looks. We need to inject a metadata with a simple software which is available on the video underneath you can find easily a link and by making the injection I will show you how it looks this is the software you need just to open the, the video and inject metadata after that, the video will look 360, you see? And then at the end, 
we just need to go to YouTube upload and just drag your movie file in the browser and there is a nice preview of what I just have created you see 360 image inside of YouTube browser pretty easy and quick actually you need two minutes for creating all these things also there are extra additional things you can do uh, with the image you can also combine it with sound and other effects but for preview it's pretty easy to get link from YouTube through sharing options just copy and send it over again to your client so thanks for watching stay in touch subscribe you can text me anytime and keep watching our series thanks